Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Minasan, Namaskar and a very warm welcome to all of you to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. In our last class, we learned how to give things and how to receive, basically polite form, how to invite somebody politely, how to request somebody politely. Now you all watch a lot of animation. And in animation, you would have noticed that they use a lot of plain form. Whereas when we talk during conversation, we use lot of mass form. So now there is an exercise for you. When you watch animation next time, try to sort of uh, see all the plain form over there and try to convert it into mass form. Now let us listen to the kaiva as we always do and uh, you can see how much you understand and whatever is left I am going to do it right here with you. The kaiwa is between Tanaka san and Rao san, Mina san, Futari no kaiwa yoku kite kudasai. Rao san sashiburi desu ne. So desu ne, Tanaka san genki? Um, mm, genki yo. Ronbun hapyo wa dou datta? Daijoubu datta. Tanaka san wa saikin sogashi ne. So yo. So you just heard the kaiwa and I am quite sure you were able to catch a lot of words over there. There are a few new things and I am going to explain now. So, Rao san, sashiburi desu ne, meeting you after a long time. So desu ne, Tanaka san genki, so intonation is rising, genki. Hmm, genki yo, rombun hapyo wa dou datta? How was the rombun? Hapyo, rombun is thesis and hapyo is presentation. Do datta, do is how and datta is past for this. Daijobu datta, it was absolutely alright. Tanaka san wa saikin isogashi ne, saikin is these days. Isogashi is busy, these days you are busy, isn't it? So yo, that's right. Ima raigetsu no kokusai kaigi no paper o kaite imasu. So, kokusai is international, kaigi no paper o kaite imasu. Ego de hajimete hapyo suru no de shinpai shite masu. Ego is English, de in English, hajimete first time hapyo shimasu no de chotto shinpai desu. I am a little worried. Hajimete first time and hapyo is presentation. Suru no de, no de is kara which is reason for the activity. So, shimpai shite imasu. So, I am a little worried. And then he says to Rao san, Rao san, chotto warui kedo, tetsudatte kuremasen ka? So, kuremasen you did last time. Tetsudau is the verb. Tetsudau. So, you have done it in te form, meaning help. So, please help me and I will receive the favor. This is a kind of an expression used very commonly by Japanese, improper on my part, basically meaning that I will be taking your time, but, kedo you know is but, varui as in not bad as very bad or something, but varui here means that 
I'll be taking a little of your time. So, chotto varui ke do. I am being very direct. I haven't informed you, and I am just asking you for a favor right now. So, chotto varui ke do. Tetsudatte kuremasen ka. Itsu demo kite kudasai. So he says, itsu demo any time. Kite kudasai. Please come over. He could have also said, itsu demo kite kudasai. Kite kudasai. You are always welcome to ask me any time. Daijobu desu yo. And now he says, daijobu for what? For the presentation, shinpai shinai de kudasai. Daijobu is it's all right and shinpai shinai de kudasai. Verb in nai de form. Please do not, do not worry. Arigato and then gambatte. Arigato is for what? For allowing me to come anytime I want. Gambatte. Ne. So, I am just going to do it very, very quickly with you. So, well, the first thing that was there in your kaiwa was ogenki desu ka. I am sure you all know what ogenki desu ka means. Genki over here is in good health. So, generally when you meet somebody, then you would say genki desu ka and then it is not genki desu ka. It is ogenki because you are asking the person how he is doing. So, the basic meaning of genki is how are you and also it has the meaning of are you in good health. And so, now it is made out of two kanjis and what are the kanjis? 1, 2, 3, 4 and then this kanji over here. What does this mean? This means origin and what does this mean? This means spirit or mood. The basic meaning of this character is steam actually air. So, here with Genki when the two are combined we relate it to health, just well being. Now, if someone asks you o Genki desu ka, then what should be your reply? Genki desu and not o genki. O is honorific. I am sure you remember doing o earlier in one of our lessons. So, o is not used with self or with family members. What is the proper response to o genki desu ka? Okage sama de genki desu. Now, this is very, very polite and uh, generally used with seniors or in formal situations. If it is your friend and he asks you genki desu ka, you could just say genki, hai genki desu or genki desu. But if some senior asks you or somebody whom you do not know have met for the first time, maybe on a train, maybe traveling, so then you would say okage sama de genki desu. The intonation is flat. Okage sama de genki desu and then you bow as well. In an informal situation with friends, amongst friends, O is also not required because you are informal. So, just genki and you can hear, see from the intonation it is rising and the answer could be mm, genki or just daijoubu. I am all right. So, these are, these are situations where you can use genki desu ka. Then there was another word do datta. Datta as I told you earlier is past of this, past form for this and do means how. You have done this earlier as kohi wa do desu ka. How about coffee? So, now just for revision over here past form for this is da. Deshita is datta. Datta. Then deva arimasen is deva nai. Deva nai. And deva arimasen deshita is deva nakatta. So, I have written it like this and also like this for you. Des, da, 
Deva Nai, Datta and Deva Nakata. This is past and past negative and this is negative. Is it all right? So, you can practice all your verbs like this, make mass form and also make plain form for it. Do Datta, how was, how was it and the it can be understood from context. If it is past, then it is Datta, if it is present or maybe for future, then it is this. Now, there was another word which was Daijobu. So, now what does Daijobu mean? Basically, Daijobu means it is all right, it is ok, maybe depending on situation I am fine. For example, maybe I am doing something and uh, someone can come and ask me, do deska, daijabu deska, is everything fine with you? During an exam, the teacher can ask, daijabu deska, are you fine with the paper? Shiken wa daijabu deska, is the test all right? So, you can see it is used in various situations. Now, you can just look at the kanji and see how similar it is. It is a simple kanji. You have done this one, dai, the spelling is incorrect. So, dai jobu, dai jobu, dai you have already done. Now, this, this, but what you need to do over here is cut it and then these two again over here. I will make it again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this and 1, 2 and like this. Dai jobu, dai jobu this. So, maybe now as I am teaching you, minasan kore wa dai jobu desu ka? Is it all right? Have you understood? Minasan kino watashi tachi wa agiru murao o benkyo shimashita. Zenbu dai jobu desu ka? Wakarimashita ka? So, in that manner you can use daijobu. Is everything fine with you now? You have understood? Now, there was another word, itsudemo. Itsudemo is made of two words. What are the words? One is itsu, which means when or sometimes also what time what date or what day, then the other word is demo, demo you have done as but, watashi wa kohi wo nomimasu, demo kocha wo nomimasen. So, when we join the two, the meaning is very different, the meaning becomes any time, itsu demo ii desu, any time is all right. And you can use it in negative and in positive both. Itsu demo wa dame desu yo. Itsu demo ikenai. That is, every time you cannot do what you want. And as was in the passage, itsu demo ii desu. Itsu demo kiite kudasai. You can ask me anytime you want. Now, there is a small dialogue over here. Itsu denwa shite ii desu ka? When is it a good time to call you? Itsu demo daijobu desu. So, you can use daijobu also over here. Itsu demo anytime daijobu desu. You can call me anytime you want. Anytime is fine with me. So, in this manner, these two very important words that you use in kaiwa, you can try to make some sentences on your own, some dialogues on your own, and I am sure you will be very comfortable. So, now there was particle they also in the conversation and we have done particle they in different ways earlier. Now, there is another way you can use particle they and let us see how we can use this particle they which was there in the dialogue and what it conveys. So, now you can see this picture there are two gentlemen and uh, A son is saying something to B. So, what is it? Rao says, excuse me, where is the metro station? 
and he is looking a little boggled completely unable to answer. So, what does this gentleman say? Sumimasen, ego wakaranai kara nihongo de hanashite kudasai. So, he says, I am sorry, ego is English, wakaranai kara, kara over here is reason. So, I do not understand English, thus because of this reason, nihongo de in Japanese. Hanashite kudasai. So, B san is a Japanese and he does not understand English and that is what he is telling Rao san. So, please speak in Japanese. And similarly, over here, he is talking in Japanese and he is probably Rao san and does not know A san is over here and B san is here and he says something in Japanese. Sumimasen eki and where is the metro station in Japanese? Eki wa doko desu ka? And Rao san does not know, he is just, he's just gone to Japan. And what does he say? Sumimasen, Nihongo wakaranai kara ego de hanashite kuda sai. So, using particle de for language as well to show that please talk in this language or I can talk in this language. Nihongo de hanashimasu. Hapyo wa ego de shimasu ka? Nihongo de shimasu ka? あ、私は発表は英語でします。日本語はちょっと下手ですから英語でします。So I will do my hapyo in English. I am a little uncomfortable in Japanese. Now there is another particle day which I want to do with you today and that is in this manner. What do you show now? when you use particle de with money. So, budo wa ikura desu ka? Ichikiro de 500 yen desu. Ichikiro is 1 kg. 1 kg de. So, over here the meaning of de is 4. Ichikiro de 500 yen desu. For 500 yen, you will get 1 kg. 1 kg is for 500 yen. You can see very very clearly earlier they was in and now they is for used with okane or amount as you can see in the kaiba. I will read it once again. Budo wa ikura desu ka? Ichikiro de 500 yen desu. 1 kg is for 500 yen. Ringo mo 1 kilo de 500 yen desu ka? I am sure you understand this. Ringo is also 500 yen for a kg. Iie 700 yen desu. Now he points at this particular thing and says, Sumimasen, kore wa nihongo de in Japanese as we did earlier. Nihongo de nan desu ka? So, he wants to know the word. Sakurambo desu. Sakurambo is cherry. So, ja sakurambo o 1 kilo kudasai. 1 kg sakurambo please give to me. Now, over here 1 kilo de 500 yen desu. So, 1 kg is for 500 yen. So, now you can see that you can use this for amount and for money. Ich kiro de gohyaku en desu or over here as we did earlier in our previous slide, nihongo de for language in Japanese. Or you can say doitsu go de part time wa nan desu ka? Part time is arubaito. So, doitsu go de part time wa arubaito desu. So, in this manner you can use it with languages and with money or amount. So, now we learnt verb te form plus naide kudasai which means please do not do. We have a word over here in our kaiwa shimpai shenaide kudasai. So, let us see what it means. See shimpai means to worry and shenaide means please do not and kudasai means please. So, 
as you can see over here shimpai wari shimpai shinai will not worry will not worry shimpai shinai de kudasai please because of this please do not worry now in the kaiwa he says shimpai shinai de daijobu desu yo so the moment he says shimpai shinai de then it means that either they are very good friends or they are working together or the relationship is very very informal you could also say that tanaka san is a little younger than rao san because he is not using the mas form over here shimpai shinai de intonation is rising and mas form is not there also you can understand from yo daijobu desu yo so again intonation is rising and yo is very very informal it's an informal particle used with juniors or people your same age and not with seniors i'm again and again doing the polite form the mass form the way you're supposed to speak with seniors the way you're supposed to speak with your own group now naide kudasai verbs were also given in lesson 9 you can see these are new verbs verbs which you have done meanings are not given so not go not write not read not buy not walk and not eat and you can make the naide kudasai form on your own and see try it with other verbs as well now we have not been doing kanji for a long time so i want to do some kanji today these verbs you have done now this is iku once again very very quickly iku meaning to go this is kau you have two eyes over here and legs so you you can understand it as buying things with your eyes open this is kau then remember doing kai mono which is shopping and mono over here means things so 1 2 3 like this and then like this kai mono so you have done this word so remember it as kanji and kaku think of the pictogram that we did as writing was done with brush so you have this here and then nichi this is ka and ku kaku not very proportionate but well i'm sure you can make it proportionate writing on this becomes a little difficult so these are the three verbs that we had done i want to do a new verb with you from the pictogram i'm sure you can understand that this man is selling something so 1 2 and this is small this is big and this is small and then like this and these are the two legs means u ru this is the leg part here like this always in any character where you have this this denotes leg and this is person okay so he is selling something on a tray now why i need this is because i want to tell you this kanji which is yomu and you can see urimasu is here uru is here and this character this character which gives it the meaning is you which means to speak so speak something and tell everybody that i'm selling this please read and see what it is remember these two pictograms and i'm sure it will be easy so imas and urimas together make it yomu now this is yomi kata yomi kata way to read and yomi sha 
person who reads a reader yo ni sha person who reads basically a reader so these are two new words for you yomi kata now there's one more aruku aruku now there is this old man after walking for a while very tired so he stops he rests and then he starts walking so this kanji over here means stop and this kanji over here means little skoshi you have done as shosho in shosho o machi kudasai little bit for quantity skoshi so when you join the two it becomes aruku like this like this so stop for a while and then walk again go forward again look, look at the picture remember this old man and i'm sure you'll remember aruku now there are these two kanjis uru and yomu very similar i have already told you the way to write it then this is new but this one is old this is suchi which means earth and this kanji is used for samurai also one reading is samurai and also means person the reading is she remember these two very similar looking kanjis suchi which is this one and she or samurai there is another reading for samurai which is like this person and then you have done this as otera this part you have done as o tera which is a temple and person over here in the temple waiting on the monk so basically an attendant you have lot of people in the temples who are there with the monks to help them with a lot of work and this is where the idea of this character is coming from samurai this is also samurai and this also means samurai this is longer than the second line also she now there was an expression gambatte ne which means please work hard continue doing the good work so over here gambatte is for study hard this person is working for his exams and all his friends are saying gambatte ne so ashita shikenaru kara ima gambatte ne you can also use it as gambarimashita ke do yoku dekimasen deshita i tried very hard but could not do well so gambatte ne now there is another kaiva which has polite form i want you to listen to the kaiva and then answer the questions i will quickly tell you some of the words which you may not know so rao san kino no jigyo ni kimasen deshita ne jigyo is class you did not come isn't it sensei sumimasen asa ne boshite i overslept and thus could not come ja shukudai soko ni oite kudasai please put your shukudai which is homework over there sensei could have said koko ni oite directly but because rao san is not a small boy so sensei is saying oite kudasai now rao san wants to say something so he says sensei ano sensei says nan desu ka sensei jitsu wa actually speaking densha no naka ni shukudai no notebook o wasuremashita i forgot my notebook so rao kun sore wa sankai me desu yo so this is the third time you have done this atarashi mezamashi doke o katta hou ga ii yo so see yo over here the people who are junior mezamashi doke is alarm clock you better buy a new alarm clock hai sensei wakarimashita sensei sumimasen desu ga so this is an expression very polite expression used when you want a favor so nijikan no yasumi o itadakemasen ka because he is talking to his sensei then he is saying please could i get 2 hours of leave doshite immediately 
Sensei will ask. Sensei, densha no shu te ni te eki ni ki te mimas. I will go to the terminus and ask the eki in for my notebook. Komatta ne. That is going to be really, really tough whether you are going to get it or not. Komatta means I am worried. Mitsukaru to ii ne. If you can find it, it will be very good. If you do not find it, then what is going to happen is what sensei is worried about. Sensei moshiwake arimasen, sugu mairimas. So again mairimas you did last time, I will return or come back. Moshiwake arimasen is very very polite for I am very sorry. Nijikan ato, rao san, mitsukarimashita ka, could you find it? Eki in ga sagashite kuremashita. He looked for it and gave it to me. Ja yokata desu ne, that's really good. Sensei shukudai wa soko ni okimashita. I have put my shukudai over there. Osoku natte sumimasen. This is for the shukudai. Giving the shukudai late. Ki o tsukete ne, rao san. And then he looks at the shukudai and mmm. Yoku dekte masu ne. So you have done well. Sensei kurasu no Yamamoto kun ni tetsudatte moraimashita. So kurasu no Yamamoto kun. Kun over here very very informal because they are all students together same age. So you don't have to say or use san. Okay ni tetsudatte he helped me and I received the favor. Now over here gambatte arigato gozai mashita. And then rao san could have also used shitsurei shimasu. So, he is moving out and excuse me. That is the polite way of excusing yourself from sensei's room or from anybody's room. This is in the script. You can go over. There are some kanjis which you will recognize I am sure and then you can do this part. Read the passage carefully and answer the following questions. So now some of you would like to appear for the JLPT exam which is the language proficiency exam and uh, these exams as I have told you earlier happen uh, twice a year and I had also told you that I will be taking some uh, questions from past JLPT papers. Today I am going to take one and uh, let us see what the question is. You will be comfortable once you see the paper. So. The first thing that you will see on the paper of course is your uh, registration number. So after that it is all in Japanese. There is no Roman. I will read it out because this is what is written in the beginning. So read the passage and tick the correct answer. Tsugi no bunsho o yonde shitsumon ni kotaite kudasai. Bunsho is passage o yonde read shitsumon question ni kotaite kudasai please answer. Kotae wa ichi ni san yon kara from ichi ni san yon ichiban i most appropriate mono o hitotsu erande kudasai. Please tick the most appropriate answer. Oshirase means notice. So, what is the notice? Daigaku de gakusei ga kono kami o mimashita. There is a notice at the university. This is what the students see. What is it? De and ga because it is there. This is what they saw. So Nihongo ichi to Nihongo ni no kuras no minasan e. E over here as I have told you is used only for ikukuru and kairu but e over here is to them. This notice is for Nihongo ichi to Nihongo ni no kuras no Minasan. Minasan is gaku se, gakse. So, what is the notice? Kyo degawa sensei wa ohiru made oyasumi desu. Because it is sensei, so oyasumi desu. Gozen no nihongo ichi no kurasu wa arimasen. Gogo no nihongo ni no kurasu wa arimasu. Nihongo no shukudai wa raishu dashite kudasai. And this is from Nisen Rokunen Juni Gatsu Futsuka Takami Daigaku. So this is the 
Gakko or university from where this notice has been sent to the students and the students saw this notice. Now the question is Daigaku wa Nihongo ichi no krasu no gakusei ni nani ga itai desu ka? What does the university office want to say to the students? So, you have four options. Kyo krasu wa arimasen. Shukudai wa gogo dashite kudasai. Kyo krasu wa arimasen. Shukudai wa raishu dashite kudasai. So, you can see it is written over here. Shukudai wa raishu dashite kudasai. Ichi no krasu wa arimasen. And this is what it is. Daigaku wa nihongo ichi no krasu no gakusei ni nani ga itai desu ka? So, this is the answer. The other three are all incorrect. So, I will read them anyway. Kyo krasu ga arimasu kara so. First thing is wrong. We need arimasen in our answer. Over here also it is arimasu. And he says kyo krasu ga arimasu kara shukudai o dashite kudasai. Arimasu ga shukudai wa raishu dashite kudasai. So, this is how you will get the questions. Sometimes there is a passage and sometimes the questions are very very direct. I will be doing it again and again with you so that you are comfortable when you see the paper. Go over it on your own and you will be able to understand. There is vocabulary, almost all words are given covered in this lesson as well as previous lessons. So, go over them, practice loudly so that you are comfortable. There are some kanjis for you. So, daigaku you have done already. I am just revising it with you. Then gakusei, concentrate on gaku. So, gakusei, that is the order. Then sen, see feet over here and then sei. Then this is a new kanji for you and that is why we were doing gaku, gakko. So, under a tree your father is teaching you. That is how you can remember this character. So, once again under a tree which becomes your roof your father is teaching you or you are learning at this place. So, gakko, gakko. Then this character you have done as takai, takai which means high. Now, this is school. So, takai school, high school means koko. Ko, ko. So, koko in Japanese is high school. These words you know, remember them with this kanji now. It will be easy. You have also done tomodachi. So, tomo you have done. Dachi is like this and then you make n and like this. So, you have to write it again and again for you to be able to remember the character. Of course, if you do not want to write it, you can at least remember the pictogram. So, tomodachi, you have done this tomo as yu jin, which is also friend. And gakusei tachi, tachi, same character again, you know the word, remember the kanji. And okasan tachi. So, tachi makes it plural. So, with this I would like to end today's class. There are lot of things that you have done today, lot of kanjis you have learnt and there are two passages over here. The second passage is your homework. Also the um, uh, question that I had taken up from the JLPT paper is also your homework. Do those two together and memorize all the kanjis that we have learnt 
and we will meet again with something new in our next class. Till then, work hard, gambatte ne minasan, mata aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu.